Mosquitoes are a nuisance to us and can make spending time outside miserable. So the question is, what can you do to reduce mosquito populations? Well, it all starts with finding and eliminating water bodies around the home. Do you think you could find places where there's water yes. in people's yards? We're gonna be driving around town looking for little, little bodies of water where mosquitoes could be. Oh, I see a spot. In the rock, in the rock, in the rock. Yeah. That pot. Oh yeah, you see the pots? Yeah. yeah. Garbage can upside down. Good spot. A bunch of pots over here. This is gonna be very shameful for me if, if I don't win. I see some flower pots. This yard here, there's a tarp in the back. Claim that tire. Okay, Casey, you've got two points. Look at this, I see some paper cups. Yep. Oh, well, there's a bucket there. Dumpster. People often complain about the mosquitoes in their yards and don't usually think that they can do something about it. So getting rid of the containers is like your first line of defense against these mosquitoes. What about in this yard? This place is like mosquito heaven. <laughs> There's so many toys in this yard. From here, we got out to see what had water in it with the ultimate goal of dumping it out. This is a perfect mosquito spot. Look, there are even some dead leaves in there. This was just sitting in the in the toy box. It's a perfect place for a mosquito to come and lay her eggs. Maybe 50 or so. Yeah, that's so, crazy. I don't know, this is 100 mosquitoes At right least. here. Yeah, yeah. In our that. Frisbee when it rains, then there might be a little bit of water in a Frisbee, so there might be mosquitoes in there. Put a tarp over something and there's nowhere for any water to accumulate until it rains and then the water actually pools in these big spots and so you basically have balloons of water. These mosquitoes are doing just fine. Once you start looking, you see little bodies of water everywhere. This is really fun. We're just going around town looking for things that collects water. The point is, we all have a huge responsibility to look for and eliminate standing water around our houses. <gasps> Please get that. And that's mostly to prevent what we call the bad mosquitoes, the ones that are vectors of disease and will make our lives miserable. I think you won just for that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody, thanks for watching. We have more mosquito videos. Check them out over here. And we'll see you in the next one. Watch the rest of the videos in this series to learn more about mosquito biology, disease, and what mosquito control is doing to improve human health.